Hello and welcome to Neography A to Z. On this channel, I take an analytical approach to reviewing the functionality of invented writing systems. That is, writing systems that were explicitly created, engineered, or invented for a constructed language, or to be used in place of an already existing system. I also review these systems for their aesthetic appeal in a less analytical way, but relying on decades of in-depth study and work in the field. The Elkarail writing system was created by Mark Rosenfelder in 2003. Elkarail is a non-human constructed language set in the Verdurian Con world, or constructed world, created by Mark Rosenfelder, also known as Zompist. From the website, quote, Elkarail is the language of the Elkari of the Elkaran Mountains west of Aratald. It is the best known non-human language of Aralai. The writing system is unique in that it appears to be logographic or even totem-like, but is in fact an alphabet. The most interesting aspect of the Elkarl system is that according to Zompist himself, it was inspired by the Chernoff faces. From the article, quote, the use of faces to represent points in k-dimensional space graphically, a graphical method of representing points in k-dimensional space is presented for consideration. The object is to represent multivariate data subject to strong but possibly complex relationships in such a way that an investigator can quickly comprehend relevant information and then apply appropriate statistical analysis. The method consists of representing a point in k-dimensional space by drawing a face whose characteristics are determined by the position of the point. A sample of points in k-dimensional space is represented by a collection of faces." End quote. This system is interesting as it shows how the human mind perceives data on a human face. To summarize or paraphrase in a mildly simplistic way the article, humans are already very good at distinguishing subtle differences on faces, so that subtlety can then be utilized to convey nuanced meaning. Sompist has used this idea to convey phonetic information in a sort of, quote, syllable per face, end quote, type of system. Now we'll take a look at functionality. The key to distinguishing consonants are the subtle additions made to the distinct shapes. Voicing is indicated by a line above the brows or below the mouth. Implosives are indicated by two lines. For finals, one of the additional lines can be used to open the mouth. Fricatives are indicated by drawing hair on the top or the bottom of the head. Vowels are also indicated by the shapes of the eyebrows and the mouth. As can be seen in the examples on screen, the formation of any syllable consists of the initial consonant, or onset, as the top of the head. The vowel, or nucleus, is indicated by the face, specifically the eyes, nose, and mouth. And finally, the lower portion of the face, namely the chin, indicates the final consonant, or coda. This CVC system works similarly to Hangul or even Mayan. Additional information is marked around the basic CVC. This includes prenasalization, vowel length, affixes, and grammatical information. Interestingly, vowel length is specifically marked by enlarging the eyes, almost as if to show intensity. Some glyphs result in disyllabic words as a result of various affixes that include location suffixes, such as eb, meaning on top, id, meaning middle, og, meaning bottom, and they are shown by drawing a bar with the appropriate section highlighted e.g. by enlarging it. The one-half suffix, if, is drawn as a bisected bar. The numbers are shown in two forms, carved and written. All the carved numbers are based on the repetition of the unit bar. The lozenge is used for four as a simplification of a stack of four bars, and the diamond shape symbol for 12 represents three stacked lozenges. 
Now we'll go over the aesthetics. Here we have a description from the Zompist's website about their artistic variation within the Elkari writing system. Quote, My renderings of the Elkaral characters are intended to abstract out the basic elements of the script in a representative form. In practice, a bewildering variation exists. The Elkari use their script decoratively and love to elaborate the characters as much as their considerable artistic skills allow. A bare minimum is to use more representational heads or to stylize them in various ways. This is hinted at in the graphic at the top of the page, showing the word Elkaral as a carved base relief. The Elkari most admire texts where the art enhances the message, either reinforcing it or contrasting with it. The faces generally look a bit fierce and intimidating, but expressions and features can be modified to match the reference. E.g., the word Murtani is usually drawn as the face of a Murtani. A person's name may be a portrait of the person. Things said by someone may be given the same treatment. Faces may be made uglier if they refer to unpleasant things. A battle commemoration may show the faces armored and scarred. Occasionally, entire bodies are drawn, sometimes uniform, more often in varied, varied poses and costumes. This provides an opportunity to introduce props or clothes which complement the text. Sometimes the figures even act out the events referred to by the text or comment on it with hand gestures. Though the fullest elaboration of the script is architectural, carved in stone or wood, it can be drawn or painted as well. Fonts have been created to allow printing, but the Elkari do not like printed books very much, as they do not allow much differentiation of the characters. Wood block printing, with each block of text carved as a unit, is acceptable. End quote. The uniqueness and complexity of the Elkaral system mean that it is difficult to reproduce. As such, the fans of Zompas' work haven't re reproduced it in any significant ways. There are minimal examples on Zompas' website and no real fan art to speak of. However, this script, by utilizing the scientific principle of pareidolia, has tapped into how the mind processes and perceives information, making this script aesthetically appealing and functional within the context of the con world in which it is set. The example on the screen says, Ruch Fimkebat Tulkug Ptetjenatlek. I know I'm not pronouncing that properly, but in English it means I climb the mountains, but I have no feet. I searched as best I could over the whole website, and I couldn't figure out how to say thank you in Elkaril, so I'll simply say thank you. I'm rating this writing system 4 out of 5 for functionality and 5 out of 5 for the aesthetics. The functionality of Elkaril is only 4 out of 5 due to what can be assumed to be a laborious method of writing these faces. It's likely that literacy rates might not be on the high end among the Elkar. Those are my thoughts on the Elkaril system. I'm interested in hearing yours. Next time we'll be discussing the Oribesh system from the Star Wars franchise, so be sure to click the bell button to be notified when the next episode is posted. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I very much appreciate your time and thank you for watching. As a note, all relevant links used in the making of this video are in the description. All information is the property of its creators and is openly available online.